This morning we're here with Peyton Tenori and Victoria Thornton and Peyton's Pony Dazzle and we're going to talk about some grooming tips and how to properly groom a horse. The first thing that you're going to do when you're addressing your horse, you're going to walk up to them, pat their neck, so that they know that they can calm down and you're not about to go to work. First we're going to talk about a curry comb. As you can see, curry combs are generally rubber and they have circular ridgings on them. Y'all see that? The purpose of a curry comb is to remove excess dirt and other things that are caught under the coat. So, you're going to use the curry comb in circular motions on their body like this. So Peyton, would you like to try? Good. So big circular motions. See, that's going to get the mark, the girth marks away off of him and everything off his body. More. You want to be really thorough with all of this. Good, why don't you let Victoria try? Good, and it doesn't matter which direction your circles are as long as they're big circles. Good, okay. See it? Whenever you walk behind a horse, go to the other side. You want to make sure that your hand is firmly placed behind them so that they don't kick. You want to curry all the way up their neck. Okay, so now that you've got all the dirt up to the surface, you have to use a stiff brush to brush it away. All right, girls, come here. Now feel these. Would you want to brush your body with this? Yes. No, it's hard. But, so we're not going to press too hard when you use the hard brush. You just want quick motions. And you're always going to brush towards the back because that's the direction that their hair grows. So quick motions. And you'll see the dirt flying up. Good. Victoria, why don't you walk over to the other side? Good. Sure you get those girth marks. Okay, do you want me to get the top? Next, to smooth the coat down, you're going to use a soft brush. Girls, feel this. Does this one feel better? Yeah. It's a lot, what? Softer. Yeah. Good. So with these brushes, you're going to use long strokes all the way back. Hard. It's also important to go down and brush their legs with a soft brush. Good. Good, and then we're going to let Victoria do the other side.
Finex. And this is something a lot of people oversee, but you always want to make sure that their face gets brushed, especially in the heat of summer. If they're sweaty after you ride them and they have bridal marks, if you don't brush their face, then they will get fungus. Face brushes are generally going to be small, and they're pretty in between a soft and a hard brush. So with the face brush, you're just going to brush in the direction that his hair grows. Feel it? See it goes in a swirl, so you're going to brush up at the top, down at the bottom. Make sure you get his cheeks. Good. Victoria, do you want to try? Can you reach it? There you go. Oh, good pony. Good. Good job, girls. Another thing you want to address is their mane, forelock, their mane, their forelock, and their tail. You're going to use a brush which is going to look a lot like a human hairbrush. And you're just going to brush it like it's your own hair. See the mane? Up here. You want to get all the tangles out and make sure it lays smooth. Good. And then when you're doing the tail, you're going to do it a little bit differently because there's so much hair. You don't want to start and just brush like that. You want to take it in pieces like this. Start at the bottom and work your way up. You want their tails to stay thick and full and the only way to do that is to be really careful when you're brushing it. Step to the side, step to the side. Start at the bottom and work your way up. You're also going to want to make sure you get the top feathers so that they lay smooth too. Now he has a nice, thick, smooth, and well-groomed tail. See girls? You want to hold the tail up? Good. So last but not least, we're going to address his hooves. You're going to use a hoof pick. It's going to have a little metal hook. And a lot of times it will have a brush on the other side. Picking hooves is seen to be a lot scarier than it is. What you're going to do is you're going to line up facing the back with your shoulder by his shoulder. If you're on this side, you're going to take your right hand. Here, girl, step over here. So, okay. You're going to take your right hand and you're going to run it down the back of his leg, which is called a spetlock. And he'll generally pick it up. Dazzle here has really clean hooves, but let's pretend he didn't. And you're always going to hold it like this with a good grip so that the hook is in and you pick to the back. So you want to be really careful when you're picking his hooves not to pick at the frog, which is the most tender part of their feet. That's this area right here. With the back feet, you have to be a little bit careful because their back legs bend differently than their front legs. You're also just going to hold the hoof in your hand Keep your shoulder by their leg and pick to the back. All right, Peyton, I'm going to let you do his other front foot. And Victoria, you're going to do his back leg. So walk over to the other side. Come on, Victoria. Okay. All right, Peyton, do this one. Good. Now hold it. It's okay. Good. Good job, Peyton. 
Good, and then you can use the brush to brush away other dirt. Good job, Peyton. And then Victoria. You watch. It's a little bit more difficult to pick up that back leg. a towel in your grooming bucket. So when you're done, you just take that towel and rub it all over their body. This is going to make you have a nice shiny horn. Up, girls. And now these two girls have learned how to groom a pony properly and they have a nice clean pony. <laughs>